we will be over the clouds if science fiction comes to reality. The new phenomenons are making it easier for us to bring science fiction to real life. One crucial thing is to exchange the value of every possible asset. So, is it the barter system coming back to life or something else? Keep watching the video to know more about exchanging the value of every possible asset. When the barter system ended, it was not possible to exchange every imaginable asset with each other anymore. Honestly, the barter system was not even fair in calculating the exchange value of different assets. But with this latest crypto technology, Synthetics, you can hold, trade and transfer every possible asset. Hello viewers and welcome back to Divine Business, where we upload videos about finance, investing and self-improvement topics. Today, we will talk about everything you need to know about this revolutionary cryptocurrency, Synthetics. But before diving into today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Synthetics was founded in September 2017 by Kane Warwick. Initially, it was known as Haven, but this network was then turned into Synthetics Network after rebranding. Why was there a need to rebrand Haven? Haven enabled the creation of a single stablecoin, but with Synthetics, you can do much more than that. It is an improved and advanced version. The token, SNX, is backed with different synthetic assets like metals, cryptocurrencies, indices, and foreign exchange. Before expanding the vision into synthetics, they managed to raise $30 million with the sale of 60 million HAV tokens. As of November 2020, synthetics locked up a total value of $700 million, making it the largest decentralized exchange for derivatives in the DeFi space. In the previous videos, we have talked about how DeFi is a very important step towards advancement, but that is taking it to another level. Synthetics is one of the critical players in the DeFi ecosystem. As of now, it has locked a total of $2 billion in value, making it number one in the derivatives category. Synthetics collaborated with Optimistic Ethereum to roll out a scaling solution due to the transaction speed increases and the cost reduces. It's a second layer solution. Ethereum has had the problem of congestion and high transaction fee since the beginning, and it becomes very difficult for the users as the market is very volatile. It can cost from $50 to much more for the transaction to take place. Optimistic Ethereum eliminates many problems which were issued by the users in 2020, making the system more efficient. Now, let's get acquainted with the ins and outs of Synthetics. Synthetics DeFi protocol is based on Ethereum's blockchain, offering a wide variety of synthetic assets, also known as synths, and providing exposure to the real-world assets. They reduce risk, provide access to the unavailable markets, and speculate price changes. To accomplish this, you do not even need to hold an underlying asset. So, you can receive the benefits of holding an asset without actually holding it. But you would be wondering, why do you need to hold a synthetic asset instead of an asset itself? The answer is simple. Along with the benefits of holding an underlying asset, you also get the advantages of the decentralized platform. The primary purpose is to mint synthetic assets and put SNX as collateral. Synthetic holders can stake their SNX into a smart contract. With this smart contract, they can create synthetic USD, also known as SUSD. Minting depends on two factors. One, SNX amount is staked, and two, the collateralization ratio, also called C-ratio. Currently, the C-ratio is 750%, meaning you have to put 7.5 SNX as collateral to mint SUSD. Users can short the prices as well, known as inverse synths. So, if you have iBTC, the price rises when, in reality, BTC falls. Users purchase SNX, which is then locked into a smart contract and generates a new asset called synths. For example, a synth mimicking the value of the USD is called SUSD, and a synth that mimics a Bitcoin is called SBTC. Synths can be created for any imaginable asset like gold, silver, euro, dollar, or any other cryptocurrency for that matter. 
The price of these real-world assets is copied into digital synths and tokenized on Ethereum. So, when someone locks up SNX, they become eligible to receive fees, also known as exchange reward, when synths are traded. A typical fee is around 0.03%. Suppose 1,000 SUSD were exchanged for SBTC, so the user who locked up his SNX will receive a 0.03% fee, $3 to be exact. According to some stats till August 2020, a total of $9.3 million has been paid out in 2018 as an exchange fee. In just a short period of time, a huge sum of money has been paid to the users as an incentive to keep supporting the network. Staking provides liquidity and stability. To unlock your SNX and exit or decrease the debt, you need to pay back the debt. You need to burn the same amount which was owed by you. Not just that, you can also earn rewards through SNX. How? Let's take a look. There are two reward mechanisms for SNX holders when they stake. The first one being the exchange reward. Whenever a trade takes place, an exchange reward is generated. The value of this reward ranges from 0.1% to 1% of the trade value. The other reward is known as a staking reward. SNX holders who stake their SNX get the new SNX generated by the protocol. These rewards are distributed proportionally on a weekly basis. In synthetics, a derivative is obtained in a similar manner as an over-the-counter derivative. Firstly, you need to stake a collateral into a smart contract then it issues a synthetic asset in return. In over-the-counter derivatives, broker-dealer networks are involved, but here, instead of a broker-dealer network, a smart contract is generated. It enables synths to be seamlessly traded and exchanged, eliminating the need for third-party mediators. If you're loving this video so far, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So, let's now look into some numbers. In 2018, when SNX came into existence in the cryptocurrency world, the price was $0.49. During the initial coin offering, when 100 million tokens were issued, around 20% were allotted to teams and advisors, 12% to Synthetics Foundation, 5% to Partnership Incentives, 3% to Marketing Incentives. Currently, the total circulation is around 130 million coins, and the total amount of SNX will grow to 250 million tokens by 2024. They decided to add them later on, when they saw that an incentive needs to be given to the users to mint new synths. The tokens can be purchased on top purchases like Binance, Uniswap, etc. As of 23rd March 2020, the price of synthetics is $17 and is ranked at number 47 on CoinMarketCap. As of 23rd March 2021, Synthetix's all-time high is $28.53. It touched this price on 14th February 2021. On the other hand, $0.0348 is all-time low till now. Such promising cryptocurrency requires a remarkable team and Synthetix's team is no less. Without an exceptional team, it is not possible to create something as great as Synthetix. So, let's talk about a few prominent members, because they need to be given their due credit and a moment. Synthetics' founder, Kane Warwick, is also working as a non-executive director of BlueShift, that provides a payment platform for digital goods and services. Apart from Synthetics, he's also worked for other several cryptocurrencies. Not just that, he also founded Pouncer, an Australian live auction site. Peter McKean, CEO of Synthetix, has worked in software development for over a decade now and worked at ICL Fujitsu as a programmer. Jordan Mumtazi, Chief Operating Officer of Synthetix, has a bright shining resume in regards to blockchain. He has worked as a business strategist, sales leader, and market analyst with vast experience in cryptocurrency, blockchain, e-commerce system, and digital payments. Another well-known member of the team is Justin J. Moses, Chief Technology Officer. He co-founded Pouncer with Kane Warwick. He previously worked at MongoDB and Lab49. How is Synthetix governed? Initially, Synthetix Foundation was responsible for the governance of Synthetix. There were two protocols used by the Synthetix Foundation. 
number one being Synthetics Improvement Proposals SIPs, and number two Synthetics Configuration Change Proposals SCCPs. SIPs dealt with the changes in a smart contract. On the other hand, SCCPs dealt with changes in C-ratio and exchange fees. But later on, in July 2020, they moved towards decentralization, dissolving its foundation and forming three decentralized autonomous organizations. These organizations included Protocol DAO, Grants DAO, and Synthetics DAO. These protocols enable SNX holders to vote for the changes and take decisions in the future. Let's now wrap up the video with a bit of an overview of the unique features of Synthetics. Synthetics provides an infinite liquidity as any synth can be traded on the Synthetics exchange. No order book required due to peer to contract trades making it easier and quicker. It doesn't just end there you can create and convert synths without even holding the counterparty. Lastly, staking allows you to get rewards as an incentive. Users who lock their SNX are also eligible to receive staking rewards, as mentioned earlier in the video. These rewards are actually tokens that are distributed via some software rules. It gives an incentive to the users to support the network. Keeping everything in mind, we cannot give an exact price of where SNX will be at the end of the year. But with all the growth and improvements being made in this protocol, it won't be difficult to say that it might boom soon. According to a few portals, by the end of the next five years, the price of SNX might increase as much as $360 with the help of a few partnerships and collaborations. But if they fail to make a mark in the crypto world, it might stay as low as $65. This is a very volatile market and requires a lot of attention, so take your decisions carefully. Well, that's all for now. We hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to comment down below with your thoughts on the future of synthetics. Also, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like as it encourages us to create more valuable content. For now, we want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.